greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. It's time for another game with Orbital Potato. Hey, man. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. I'm playing Air again, and Air is something that I did very, very well in the last game that we played together. Is that not the case? I think it, so. it is totally the case. You stomped everyone, so hopefully that will remain true here. Well, I didn't stomp anyone. Everyone. Um, somebody did steal a kill, and for that, I was uh, was somewhat angry. Alas, you know, it's in the past. I'm over it. It was over a week ago that we recorded that. Who cares? I mean, not me. <laughs> not me. No. No, I'm not still <laughs> bitter about it or anything. No, don't be daft. Don't be the silly. salty potato on Sultan's no, 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 sentence. No, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 someone is just reminding me I screwed up an option. I need to set it for full share because even though a little fairy dies every time someone plays with full share, you need it on sentence. And I cannot launch because Tatsu oh. is not leaving. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's gonna be an issue. <laughs> Tatsu, leave. Leave. <laughs> there we go. We were we were talking about this uh, this before, and when I'm setting up a game in Supreme Commander, I always feel really really guilty when I click somebody, like click somebody and like kick him or whatever. But you, you're just like you're you're brutal. You have you to be a master of your domain, otherwise you never get anything done. No, you just have to be an ass. That's that's what you have to do. That's just like it's like who cares about being the master of your domain? You need to be a ruthless ruthless ass. That's well, that's what you've got to do. Well, see, here's the thing the vast majority of the time this is an incredibly nice community but yeah. a lot of people don't realize when it comes down to actually launching an eight player game if someone keeps continually kicking you usually it's because they have a game plan and they actually yeah. want to launch and it's the choice yeah. of kicking someone and launching immediately or not kicking someone and potentially waiting 10 15 minutes for a game so yeah I would rather play and possibly maybe hurt one person's feelings and let eight other people play. <laughs> wow. 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 It's it's the sacrifice of the single person for the good of the majority, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a utilitarian <laughs> belief. I'll, I'll... Uh, I'm, I'm not actually that cold-hearted. No, 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 of course not. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm I don't really know what I'm doing. You know, I'm I got off to a good start last time, but hey ho, maybe it won't uh, won't be so well this time. What what is your ultimate battle plan? We've talked a little bit about how I'm going to be doing air. What the hell are you going to be doing? What My doing plan air? is to ram a ghetto gunship as far up the right side as I possibly can, and then hopefully while he's dealing with that mess, I can secure an early navy hold. Okay. I can I can be happy with that. So you are green. You are down at the bottom there. Okay, you know what? Rocking the Cybran. I can dig it. I am going to be stabbing many backs today. Many many backs. More than you usually stab because I know you're you know you're you're quite the stabber <laughs> in your spare time. Ultimate troll. Ultimate troll. That's good. You know what? Being a troll is good. One I've got the topics. ultimate troll position, and you've got the ultimate eco horror position. I think that that is not an exaggeration in the slightest. Nope. I, uh, you know, you know what? All right. So the other day, I was playing a little bit of Supreme Commander on stream, actually. And uh, in case you're interested, I stream uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thanks for asking, Brink. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> shameless plug. Um, no, and I was, as I was saying, I was, uh, I was playing on this map getting salty as i usually do i'm a pretty salty dude um but it suddenly dawned on me right i suddenly understood the relationship between when the hell you should upgrade your mass extractors and it just like it hit me all at once and it was like oh this is how i should be doing it this is when i should be doing it and this is exactly how i need to do it and it was just the most glorious of experiences in all honesty it was fantastic you, that is you, you an awesome friend. thing to hear because eventually the eco in this game becomes instinctive like you just know when something is supposed to be happening and where you're supposed to be putting certain things and once oh no orbital Hello? potato is timed out he's back okay i'm back i'm back you couldn't get rid of me that easily see <laughs> I'm, I'm just like i'm 
I'm, I'm like a, I don't know, like a bad case of smallpox or something. Although I'm fairly sure they've been eradicated, actually. As opposed to a good case of smallpox? <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> That's a very good point. That is a very good point, actually. No, in fact, no. I would, I would go as far to say as there is never a good case of smallpox. I'm glad we can agree on this subject. <laughs> Anyway, once the uh, eco becomes instinctive on this game, that's when you really start to have fun because then you're not like constantly overthinking, should I be doing this thing or that thing or the other thing? And you can focus on instead, oh, I should totally destroy that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 can, I can totally understand that. And, and this, you know, this, this whole, the way that it worked just came, just came to me. It came to me, man. And it was, it was glorious. I was happy. I was happy and content. It was very nice. It was very nice indeed. So, ah. as far as settings goes, there's a pretty hardcore established meta on this game, as I'm sure everyone has realized. Um, and it's kind of interesting what I was saying before about the me having the ultimate uh, troll position and Potato having the ultimate, oh, good lord, I have a hunter that got stuck on my factory. Uh-oh. Stop. Stop it. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to be late getting my transport out. Anyway, okay. um, Beach has a bit of a hard time versus Rock. Uh, me being... Why do I have two transports? Me being the Beach position. Because Rock has an extra mass, extra, deb, 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 mass extractor. <laughs> <clears throat> try to um, that one again. <laughs> they have 13 and I have 12. And then on top of that, they have easier access to the island, which makes for a grand total of six mass extractors more than the beach position has, which, as anyone could probably figure out, is a horrendous disadvantage, which will probably end up killing you. The beach slot is expected to lose. So basically you have to troll the ever-living daylights out of the other player in hopes that you can get them off their footing enough that you can overwhelm them. Oh, trolling? Trolling, here, you say? Yes. That sounds, that sounds like your dream job. And then basically, the two navies are the asymmetrical, balanced positions. Front, they have equal standing, and, you know, front's pretty self-explanatory. And then air's the eco slot, which probably everybody already knows, but for those of you who don't, that is how settings typically works. I I didn't know that. Well, I did sort of know that. It's, it's pretty easy to guess, I suppose, isn't it? But... I'm a bit of an idiot, so it's all right. Everything Currently dancing with this enemy transport here because he didn't want to dump off his engineers because I was right there. Uh-oh. That's, that's not good, is it? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'm going to grab this mass extractor over there. And I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm entitled to grab that, uh, that far right top mass extractor. Is that mine? Just as a... Um, yes, that is. All right, good. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't doing something that was, like, totally controversial in FA. Oh, I... no. Heaven forbid anyone were controversial. <laughs> well, I, ah. I, 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 you know, I'm sorry. A little bit too much sarcasm. A little bit too much sarcasm. <laughs> you know what? There is never, there is never too much sarcasm. Never. Never. All right. Um, oh, my goodness. Somehow I've got an army of engineers and it's not not working. This is beautiful. I did this not see phenomenal. where his transport went. This is bad. How so? How is this bad? Because a transport that you don't know the location of is something that can kill you. Oh my Where goodness. is his transport? This is bad news. Have we lost the game? Have you lost us the game, Mr. Brick? I don't think so. At least not yet. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm very glad. Oh man, I am, I am upgrading a fair few mass extractors. Where is my idle factory? Um, you know, let's get some more engineers out there. All right, sweet. Five idle engineers. What do I want to build? All honesty, not very much. Not very much at all. Uh, do I do I want to go a tech two land factory? That's what I want to do. Yeah. Tech 2 land, not Tech 2 air, or Tech 2 air first? I um, I would probably say Tech 2 air because you're going to need the Tech 2 air later. Yeah, so it's check. better to go ahead and get it and not waste the mass on Tech 2 land. Completely understandable. 
I I can sympathize with that. All right. Um, my economy is strong-ish. Uh, I'm upgrading like a bazillion mass extractors right now. Uh, not not overly many, I don't think. Although, obviously, overly many because. Hey ho, I I do that. That is that is one of my things. I advertise as being a little bit over the top and ridiculously excessive and completely uninformed about everything. Um Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. I have I have got some pretty intense reclaim orders set up. Like almost the entirety of my screen looks red when I hold down shift. That's that's <laughs> Not even kidding you. Great. Not even kidding. Hey, that is not a bad thing. I hope not. I hope not. Uh, how are we doing? You are you are at the top of the pack. I'm at the third of the pack. Oh, no, you're second top. That's okay. That's good. That's fine. That's fine. We're in a comfortable position. I would say our position is comfortable, but not uh, not overly overly luxurious, shall we say. I think, that's I think that is a good estimation. Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right. You guys, you guys are going to be my my template people. I've been told off for templates a lot in the past because apparently if you build a template with a tier one or something, then it doesn't work with a tier two or, or if it if you yeah tier yeah two, it um, work with tier one or, or tech one or whatever. Yeah. Oh it's, freaking a! He's got bombers uh, on me. I don't have any air in the area. Crap! All of my air is over there, and he is now sending bombers at me. Uh-oh. Fantastic. That is a lapse on my part. Oh, I think you've just lost us the game, I'm afraid, mate. No, no, it's I'll be fine. Like, just, no. Okay. Uh, I'm dis you know, I'm not I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, on the plus side, I'm a way to get tier two air. So is that not cause for celebration i think it is that is totally cause for celebration even though i am losing large portions of my power grid at the moment you know what you need to turn that frown upside down do you not think i think so okay uh tech one mass okay let's upgrade everybody oh i can afford to basically upgrade all of my tech one mass okay that's kind of nice actually Right, what the hell is going on? Who's pinging what there? Oh, there's a land factory. Oh, good lord. T1 point what? defense now and start building tanks. What the fudge? How did how did that manage to get there? Thankfully, my economy's all right, so... Oh, somebody marked it as kill, as in, like, what the hell? If you don't take care of that right now, it is going to end up killing all of us, is basically you know what? what that boils down to. Have have you got no faith? Have you got no faith? Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna like crawl my turrets towards him. Well, the problem with that is uh, T1 artillery has greater range than T1 point defense, and that's what he's building. Well, if I can at least mess up his factory, then I'd be uh, I'd be on a good sort of start. Oh man, that has boned me so hard. That is that is literally going to screw me. That is going to mess me up. Well, I'm going to get his factory. I'm going to get his factory, that's for sure. No, it's not for sure. It's annoying. All right, move my commander. Okay, commander, mess this guy up. Mess this guy up, commander. All right, there we go. Move the commander over here. Use. Yeah, all right. I will. I will use this factory. No, not land scouts. Not land scouts. All right. This is this is completely screwed me. Taking me. Oh, not that one. I don't want to build that. This is this is taking me. Uh, this is taking me by surprise. I'll be honest with you. Taking me by surprise, just a touch. All right. Anyway, that is that is no excuse to stop the upgrade patrol. These guys are going to be going around upgrading. All of my metal extractors. Would like to see. Okay, and that one over there. Okay. Where is the? Oh God, there is there is like literally. Oh goodness gracious me! 
All right, let's get some. Let's get some. Guided Focus missiles. fire the anti-air. Can I build like a billion guided missiles? Will that help? Uh, your ACU being over there is fine. That'll work. Is it? Is it? Yep. All right. Uh, get your T2 engineers out and build your T2 power generators while you're taking care of that. Sweet. Ah, crap. There was more there than I thought there was. That's okay. It's, it's fine. Kill these. It's fine. We're going to be fine. Okay. Commander needs to come over this way. Take out these dudes. Oh, man. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, well, we're, we are going to get it. Alrighty then. You know, we might be able, I might even be able to take his factory. How about that? Okay. If take his factory. No, Commander, don't take that. Okay, well, no, we managed to successfully push it back a little bit. That's fine. All right, just make sure you got your T2 power up and you're moving towards T3 air because he is, uh, you are, I think, a little bit behind their air player. Did you just cap a Cybern factory? Nice. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm, I'm sort of like you know a pro in the making, if, uh, <laughs> if, if that's the correct term. Let's run with that. <laughs> Let, let's run with that. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. All right. Um, all right, we need to upgrade literally everything. Stop that. And then we're going to upgrade you. Unpause you. Unpause you. All right, so I'm actually going to go tier three on some metal extractors. Metal extractors, mass extractors. That's the, that's the thing that I'm on about. Mass extractors. I would highly recommend, if you have extra mass, pour it into these T2P gen builds so, Sweet. so you that's can drop a RAS on your commander. That's a good idea. That is a really good. I keep on forgetting about that 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 whole ARAS thing. That's uh, it's really a good bridge between tier two and tier three. I think that's what uh, that's what you sort of said, wasn't it? Yes, it is the most efficient way to get T uh, three air online, by yeah. far. Sweet. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a few more frigates there than I thought there was, so I'm going to wait on that one. Probably going T2 Navy right now. Hmm. Oh, crap. Is this, is this a problem? Is this bad? Tell me it's not bad, man. Tell me it's not bad. Well, it's going to be annoying, that's for sure. You know what? Annoying is better than fatal. So to speak. Controversial, but true. Um, you know what? He did, like, literally zero economic damage to me, which is kind of amazing. Well, he did slow you down. He did. He did slow me down. That is a totally valid, uh, a totally valid point. Uh, I've got like some artillery. I'm gonna gift it to you so that you can. Uh, in fact, no, I'll gift it to Red, shall I? I'll give it yeah, to Red. that would probably be better. Uh, I'll send it up. I don't there. have too terribly much use for it, actually. Okay, you can assist there. And everybody can just chill out and upgrade. We can go to tier three mass extractors together. How fantastic is that? It's pretty darn fantastic. Ah, oh, holy cow. Holy cow. I am I am gonna be looking for that sweet, sweet tier three uh, air factory very, very soon indeed. Holy cow. Their, their air player is like top of the leaderboards, a billion points <laughs> ahead of me. Well, that would be because he probably has ASF. <clears throat> so you know what? You know what? He didn't cap a Cybern factory, did he? I don't think so. He didn't. I don't think so. It's gonna be the game changer right there. Darn right. I mean, you know, with this we can build Cybern experimentals. Well, you can already build Cybern experimentals. Let's just ignore that fact temporarily. <laughs> um. Yeah, let, let's just pretend that I made a difference, all right? Let's pretend that I made a difference. Oh, we don't have to pretend. You always make a difference. Aww. Aww. That's that was so my sweet. patronizing <laughs> comment for the day. <laughs> <laughs> only, only one? Oh, fantastic. We're going to have a great time. can call me the great sarcasmo. <laughs> uh, am I still producing? No, I'm not. 
Okay. Uh, okay, I'm just going to gift gift these units to red. Okay. Are you doing ARAS yet? No, not yet. I'm going okay. tier 3 air. In fact, no, I should probably be going ARAS now, shouldn't I? I am probably power stalling so tremendously hard, but I am trying to hang on until RAS is done. I've got, extra, I've got extra power if you want. E, no, I don't need it at the moment. As soon as you get done with RAS, I'm going to be going RAS, though. Okay, well, I will be going RAS in about two minutes. Well, maybe, maybe a minute, give or take. <clears throat> uh, I will have Tier 3 air first before I go RAS. So I'm going to try and offer up some sort of contest uh, for the... I don't know. Oh my god, I've got I just got so much stuff. I've got so much mass. It's it's actually amazing to play an air player because you're you're just like unbelievably Oh uh, he's, got, he's got a spy plane. I knew it he has a spy the plane. Power stall has hit me unfortunately. Well, you know what? You know ask Dang and it. thou shalt There we go, there we go, it's back up. We're good. Ask and thou shalt receive. Just mass stalled. Let's go Rast there. Let's go air superiority fighters. That's all I care about right now. Air superiority fighters. Holy cow. Um, uh, are you power right, stalling, right, or are you ahead on power? No, I'm, I'm massively power stalling, actually. Okay, stop air and get RAS. Like, stop pause air. the factory, yes, because that RAS. burns a lot of power. That was so, like 1,500. That's insane. Yeah. That's literally get the RAS, insane. Get the RAS, then build power. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm still power stalling for some absurd reason. And let's get you guys going over there. I've got a bazillion engineers. If you ever need any build power increases or whatever, then literally just <laughs> you're going to need the build power engineers. in a little while. Remember, that was the big problem you had in that other sentence game was not enough I, build power. I can appreciate that. Um, I can totally appreciate that. Yep, yeah, you're you're right as always, as always. Uh, you are, you are okay. fairly correct, but I will have RAS. Well, very, I'm not very correct fair. right now because I'm sitting on an 800 power stall at the moment. Well, How I'm much more you a, got on RAS? Uh, I'm pretty much done RAS, but I'm sitting on a 14,000 power stall right now. So. Okay, when you get done with RAS, don't start anything. Okay. okay, I'm gonna get resource allocation off of your overflow. All right, does it overflow automatically, or does it? Or do I? Yes, it is. It is giving me all the power that you're overflowing. So. Just hold tight for a second, and then you'll actually get the overflow from me. So okay, and then when I mine is done, you can start T3 air production and get your um, A RAS. My second level RAS, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Sweet. I'm going to, can I go, are you ready? Are you finished? You finished? Uh, no, I am 35, 40%. 35, 40%. That's okay. Yeah. That's not too bad. Let me shut down all my naval production for a second here. Okay, that radar. will speed it up greatly. Radar, radar. He's just got this spy. He's just got some spy planes that are just flying around completely, sussing us out. He knows exactly what I've got. So we've <laughs> or, we've already lost the air intelligence battle, which is. Oh, uh, that's okay. You know, Don't worry about it. Is he gonna try and put his spy plane down literally in my base? Nobody ever needed intelligence anyway. I've survived all of my life without any. So that's that's great, isn't it? That Fantastic. Absolutely great. Are you finished with your ARAS yet? You finished? Almost. You finished? Uh, I'm 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 wait I'm waiting with with bated breath. Scout, please. You know what? I can, All right, I'm, I'm done. done. You're done. Fantastic. This is what I like to hear. Start up second, what you got. Second level ARAS and it's all gone instantly. I'm overflowing 2500 now. Yeah, no, no, that's okay, but I'm using, like, a billion tech twos to, uh, to try and boost. Okay, I'm going to scout this area. Go. Oh, man, this is gorgeous. All right. All right, second level ARAS complete. Let's get some tech three power generators. Oh, good lord. I put Lemon King, my opponent, on the bottom of the scoreboard. <laughs> nice. I was sitting here thinking, oh, I gotta squash this, I gotta squash this quickly, and then I look up, and he's, oh, well, it's not so bad after all. It's not so bad after all. That's that's the stuff that we like to hear. At okay. least I'm responding in, in, in due course to what the hell is actually going on in real time. 
Um, right, you guys need to come back. You guys all need to come back. You guys all need to come back. Some tech three engineers. What do we want to what do I want to build? I just want to build like a butt ton of a butt ton. That is a, a technical term by the way. A butt ton of not spy planes, air superiority fighters. That's really what I want, isn't it? Yes, ASF. ASF. Build ASF until we have a good grasp on what's actually going on in the rest of the world, and then we can think about other things. Sweet. I will do that. I will indeed do that. I also should I should probably build a second air factory as well, shouldn't I? It's probably a nice idea. Maybe. Oh wow, Lemming's getting fancy. He knows he's losing and he's reclaiming all of his stuff to get the mass back out of it. Pro level gameplay right there. Pro level. I like to I like to hear that. Pro level, that sounds like my sort of level. Okay. Upgrade, upgrade. A T three scout or two would actually be very, very helpful. A tier three scout or two. Yes. I can do that. And by that, of course, you mean the spy plane. You by that, I, I would mean the spy plane, yes. I shall build you a spy plane right now. Front is right doing now. fairly well for himself. Kind of crashing T2 into a firebase for no reason, but he yes. is holding his opponent back. I may need to go help him in a minute, though. I think you might need a little bit of help. Let's go crash his party with some Salems. Man. Man, I don't want to go to a party with you. That sounds like that sounds like <laughs> a terrible party like for everybody involved. Okay. Okay, and you. There are so many T2 artillery over there. Actually, Looks nah, like uh, that one. All three functioning navies are going to collide in the center here. All three functioning navies. All right, where'd you want a spy plane? You want a spy plane? I can give you a spy plane. Just anywhere. Shoot it, like, up the back side of this right here, yeah. and then up through the air base. Okay. And then spy plane. Yeah, we'll go and get some uh, some nice little intel. All right. Tier 3, tier three spy planes, tier 2 scouts, tier 3 scouts, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking awesome, if I if I do say so myself. All right. Okay. Let's get some. Let's get some shield generators now. That's the next stage. Shield generators. I'm not gonna hold shield generators against you at this point, but Thank you. theoretically speaking, since you're the back player, you shouldn't need shields because the other three players are essentially meat shields, and ASF should be able to project enough to keep strap bombers off of you. So once you get your air build down where you can get ASF up, shields are basically a waste of mass. But since he probably has more air than you do, actually, he surely has more air than you do, um, it would not be a bad idea. And actually, a couple of SAMs, the T3 anti-air, would not be a bad idea either. Yeah, I'm working on it right now. I want to find out what the hell he's actually doing first. So, yeah, look, he's got a shield as well. He's got some Tech 3 power. Holy cow. Has he got anything of value? Not really, actually. He's not got anything that's really crazy. He's got some strat bombers. but Yeah, that's bad. Oh, 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 bombers. ASF to the front. Hey, uh, I've got about six. Red's dead. Oh, cow. Holy Six cow. ASF is enough to knock all that down if he dodges, and he is dodging. I'm going to get that navy off of him. Just get in there and wipe him out. I'm going. I'm going as fast as I can. I actually have a cruiser near there, too, so if he's dumb enough to bring all of his air there, um, I'll make a pretty big dent in his ASF with the cruiser presence, but... Oh, you know good what? lord. He's, he's gonna, I think he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. Yep. That's going to absolutely shrek his air. So I'm not too concerned by that. <clears throat> Genuinely not too concerned by that. All right. Successful save. Successful save. Easy save. Okay. Yeah, yeah we, need to, we need to push back blue a little bit, unfortunately. 
think it's uh, it's become become necessary that we do that. Okay, uh, where are my tier three power? You and you. I want to go and get. Oh, no. So you, I want to go out here, out here, and I want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna set a dude to be literally the anti-air guy to defend my base from oppression. It's going to be literally that entire dude's job. You, tier one engineers, can assist that guy. Good lord, Orange. purple Where's is building a lot of air. Uh, my air force is here. The air force is here. Why is purple building air? Probably because he realized... Because he has no there. more water access, so that's the only thing he can build. Holy cow. Holy... Are you, see, are you seeing what blue has? Yep. That's disgusting. Good little wad of ASF, just like you're supposed to. Not you personally. The air player in general. Thanks, thanks. thanks. It's okay. <laughs> okay I'm going to back gonna, that one up. <laughs> we are going to manage to take you know, him out a little bit, which is kind of nice. But I just need more build power, don't I? That's really what I need. Which is uh, annoying, but hey-ho. Man, so many bombers. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. I'm getting fighters as fast as I can, but... Well, I have a buttload of cruisers, so I think I will be okay. And I am, I am doing something. It's just I'm just not doing enough. I just can't compete against the number of, uh, of bombers there are. All right. Air has been successfully... Repelled for now, I feel. Denied, at least for this moment. Fighter bomber, take out the fighter bomber. That's what we want. Oh my god, I'm plus... I'm plus like a bazillion mass. What can I do with it? Give it to me. Give it to you. All right. Frank. Pretty, pretty, please. I'm going to give you literally all my mass. Have all my mass. There you go. Thank you. That's going I to might... get me many, many mechs upgrades. Good. That's what I like to see. Is there anything that that is cool that I can build, like an experimental? Is there any interesting experimentals that uh, that Aeon have? Um, the Aeon there are, yes. But air is a little bit more important at this this exact second. You don't want to. You don't want an experimental aircraft carrier, an aircraft uh, ship thing. No. no, you're not really too keen on that. Okay. Um, that's fine. Well, it's, it's okay. You can build it. Just don't put it on the other side of the map because it will die yeah. over there. And yeah, your ASF are sitting on the ground about to die. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe we actually managed to repel that attack. Okay, I'm going to get them to patrol around here because, you know, I'm actually a pro player, so... Um, pro level strats right now. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you and say that you've got a fairly good grasp of what's going on in the ocean. So, if the enemy decides that he wants to engage, engage you in the ocean, then that would be stupid. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Good. Like I have so many cruisers over here that if he were to try to put his air on this side, he would just die a horrible, painful death. So, I think we're good on over here. All right, so basically, I've put a factory on to literally just build air superiority fighters to the rest of the game. That's that's what's literally going to happen. Yep. And okay, then... so what I would recommend is out here in this glorious piece of real estate, I would put a um, I would put a nuke defense somewhere out there. Yep. And then right. I would start building a grid with a T3 power generator with four air factories around it. Okay. And then continue that. That is actually a useful template to have. Um, and continue that grid around and around and around as many as you would like to build. 16 or so air factories would probably be good. And what that does is it gives you all the build power you need to make air. And it um, gives you the adjacency from the power generators so that your factories consume less power. And you're building the power generators you need to run them. Ah, okay. So that's the best way to get a bunch of air online quickly. No doubt about it. That is a very, very good point. I like that. I like that a lot. 
I will endeavor to do that. I'm just going to try and get a Tech 3 land factory just so I can pump out some engineers continuously while also pumping out Tech 3 air units. I feel that's probably a decision that you'll uh, you'll sort of back me up on. I, I feel like that's <laughs> probably something. I love me some T3 engineers. I'm about to start a serious T3 NG spam myself right here. Good. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty darn cool. And plus, I'm, do you want some more mass? I'm going to give you some more mass because I've just got ridiculous amounts I of mass. won't turn it down. I go. still got 14k in the bank, but I'm burning it off pretty quickly. And I can burn it off quicker than that. You literally just got 25k, so uh, enjoy. Watch me run. I'm going to upgrade five T3 mass extractors at once. Five tier three mass extractors at once. Only five? I think I've, I've done more than five this game at once. Just saying. Well, I do have number picking. six, but it's done right now. So. Okay. Okay, okay understandable. understandable. I don't have any more to upgrade. How am I supposed to upgrade T3s? Oh, I forgot about the island. I could upgrade all the ones on the island. That is oh, true. The competition is rife. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, uh. Tier 3 shenanigans, please, yes. Okay, great. Uh, sorry, what was the grid that you were talking about? You wanted a power generator in the middle, yes. A power generator with four air factories around it. Four air factories around it. It's a good shout, it's a good shout. Cool thing about Cybern Cruisers, they actually have a land fire toggle, and it, oh, yeah. it shuts off the anti-air. They can't fire at air anymore, but it directs the nano dart weapon at ground units. So yeah. you get this massive, massive damage gain, uh, which is very, very good at taking out shields. There, there. So I'm, I'm just, I'm like making sure that my placement of these air factories is perfect. It needs to be perfect. Should I kill blue? <laughs> should you kill blue? Of course you should. Well, I mean, unless you... that means all of his economy goes to their air player, which can be a bad thing. Perhaps, I, I don't really know. Yeah, what, what do you want to do? Do you want to do, do it? I think you probably should. I mean, if, if the air player has played anything like I have, then he's probably got quite a lot of economy left over. And we've actually not seen the air player do anything for the last, like, 10 minutes. Like, he really hasn't done anything majorly major. You know well, I mean? we need to scout him just to make sure he's not building anything in the back. You know what? Because he I could have... very well have some nasty business going on back there. I will scout him right now. I will send some interceptors up there. Right the only now. thing that really sucks about the nano darts on the Cybern cruisers right. is the fact that they are horribly inaccurate and they do not track. So they're great at busting shields because that's as close as you can get to shooting the broadside of a barn in Supreme Commander. But uh -huh. uh, versus individual targets, they pretty much can't hit anything. Uh -huh. So, meh. Oh, no. He's going to get it. He's going to get the torpedo bomber snipe. That's annoying. I was hoping to get the torpedo bomber snipe off on him. I did start building torpedo bombers for the exclusive reason to kill that commander. Well, I was Shame. hoping to leave him alive, but apparently that's not an option anymore. Oh well. Oh well. It's okay. That's okay. I'm just going to start building strategic bombers right now because <laughs> screw it. I've got the mass. Might as well. <laughs> literally. More literally. factories. Uh, pro tip. You can actually build um, T3 support factories directly with T3 engineers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm on it right now. Fantastic. You know what? Let's get a, let's get a tier 3 cyber factory. Point. Well. That ace at you is dead as a doornail. Yeah, I would I would say that a doornail cannot be as dead as that ace at you is right now. Boom! Wow. And there goes the set and salt that we all know and love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm almost certain that the air player in um yeah, I'm I'm fairly certain that the air player is gonna get shredded. For bad plays or whatever, because if you if your team messes up, right, uh -huh. it's an easy easy way out to just blame it on the air player. You know, it's like oh, it what is. A, what a but bad see, game. here here's the thing about cliches. Cliches are usually cliches because they are based in something real. 
So there are a lot of games where it's decided oh, oh, by oh, the oh. air player. I, I don't doubt you, but, but I think that it's <laughs> the precedent for blaming the air player has been established by now. But right. it's overused. <laughs> it is. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's exactly it. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. So salty. So salty. Oh well. Did I? Oh, apparently, apparently my uh, my my interceptors were intercepted themselves. How ironic. Hey, Brink. You know how you're like uh, an awesome dude. I think you deserve like a billion more mass there you go have that no you Merry power Christmas. stalled me <laughs> oh that's I'm okay sorry for being nice it is okay i will i will get it taken care of okay okay that's good that's good that's fine i am mostly just blaming you for me not building enough power so it, it oh, is truly all right i i'm aware <laughs> of this fact i'm aware of this fact okay um although i don't want to be mean about the air player but the air player pretty much hasn't really done anything has it i mean um, he, he is much. sitting in the back. That's, that's pretty much what he's doing. He's sitting in the back. But, I mean, he's got two nuke defenses, so obviously he's safe from nukes. It's obviously, yeah. I mean, that's... And he is building things. He has lots of power. And some hives. He has cyber tech as well. Oh, t oh wow. That's, that's impressive. That's, that's very impressive. Well, I've got cyber tech too, so... Booyah. Wait, how did he get Cybern Tech? Did he just uh, get a gift teammate to gave it to him, I'm sure. Oh, only a gift. See, he never actually had to have that combat experience of, of capturing a Cybern. He did not Cybern have the trial by fire. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay. My, uh, my energy is not looking too good, but what the hell am I doing right now? Holy cow. Need to build uh, T3P gens. Yeah, no, I thought I was. But suddenly, I realized that I've been building a mass fabricator for the last, like, five minutes. And I feel really stupid. Oh, right now. my goodness. Potato, you did not. I. You did not. Did. I literally did. You can see the half completed thing, like, just up there. But, you know, I'm just going to abandon it. It's going to take too long to reclaim. Screw oh, it, my word. Yeah. Well, I'm see, not... here's the thing. If you reclaim it, you actually get power back out of reclaiming an unfinished building. That's so right. you're actually helping your power situation by reclaiming it. That's a really good point. But I would just so... snag all five of those T3 engineers and just build the yeah. T3 power generator at the closest possible location. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it right now. Oh, my goodness, I can't believe it. At least I've got some strat bombers. Like, I've got... a couple strap bombers three four strap bombers three strap bombers four strap bombers four in a minute four in a minute and um, i'm more proud of this whole air dominance thing that we've got going on with like a billion interceptors that can intercept pretty much anything that he throws at me i reckon he uh, does, look he's got so much stuff he must be going for an experimental unit he normal must sorry must be i i don't know that that's to he be scouted be I kid you not, he must be. Let's see. Best way to scout is Are you Googling this right now, or are you just like two? If you get your air factory, yeah. place a waypoint at the top and then set it to build nothing but scouts, the scouts okay. will stream out of the factory in a line towards the north. And then as soon as they get up to the top, select all the scouts and just place a move order somewhere over there. Tech and what that scouts, does or? is the wall of scouts goes across the map to that point. And so you basically scout 100% of the map. Okay, so do you want to just one tech pass. one scouts, yeah? Tech one uh, scouts? Tech three. Tech three scouts, okay. Yes, tech three. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Oh, he's got something. We are there. minus two speed. Minus two speed. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm. It gives me a little bit more time to chill out and just sort of take it a little bit slower. Kind of nice. Kind of nice once in a while. You know what I mean? I remember way back. Uh, it doesn't really matter who's minus two because there's multiple people minus one right after that. Um, I remember way back the uh, first computer that I had that was capable of any kind of gaming. I had a uh, first generation i5 laptop uh -huh. that I tried to play Supreme Commander on. 
And I know full well that everyone probably hated me because I regularly <laughs> drop sentence games to minus four because Ooh. of thermal throttling. Yeah. Wow. I can legitimately wow. say that Supcom killed that laptop. <laughs> um, it, it was it was getting quite toasty on occasion. <laughs> I, I I'm not surprised, mate. I'm I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, I I upgraded from that to a AMD. Let's see, what was it? FX thirty one twenty maybe. I cannot remember. It was a Zambezi, the utter crap FX series, the first one that they came out with, which was slightly better than the laptop, but not by much. And then that led to the thirty five seventy K that I had for like a year. Uh huh. All right. Well, the 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 trials of orbital potato, the most ineffective planetary annihilation, not planetary annihilation, supreme commander player in the world, continue. I actually built a land factory rather than an air factory, so I'm going to be reclaiming that. Fantastic. Quickly building, <laughs> quickly, very quickly building to avoid any embarrassment. Building an air factory on top of that, like nothing ever happened i'm also overflowing 800 mass a second so all right uh, scouts need to go right there you go have some mass select all, all air scouts them. and just yeah just double click an air scout and then place a move order right over there and then you can stop that factory um are you still stalling power uh no i'm fine for power i did get that uh, tier three down so okay i'm fine um, i'm fine for power it's uh, it's very nice actually very very nice. I'm I'm convinced. I'm convinced he's gonna go something surreptitious and not cool. All right. You know what? I also want to go. I also want to go for an experimental. I feel like I, I really do want to go for an experimental. I've never really done one before. I'm gonna go for an experimental aircraft carrier. Is that the right thing to do? Totally. You know what? Yeah. Screw it. I mean, build yeah, the donut. Not? Build the donut. The donut will be built. The donut will be built. Repeating, the donut will be built. All right. Um, so we've got some Tech Three spy planes that are coming over my base right now. It's a little uh, bit I wouldn't pesky. be too worried about it. No, it's not probably even... not going to end badly. Probably. He knows that I've got uh, strategic bombers now, though. So that's a little bit annoying. But glorious really scouting. Oh man, that's intense. That's exactly what you want right there. All right, is he moving out? Does he have, what does he have? What's he doing? Like what, give me, a, oh, he's building a monkey, uh, a soul ripper? He's building a soul ripper. That's it. That's okay, those are easy to knock down. <laughs> easy, oh yeah, sure. If you I have, have experimental units for breakfast. If you I have, have 20 gunships. ASF, they can kill a soul ripper and you only lose one. Oh, somebody teleported in, somebody teleported in. Screw it. I Run! Run right now. Get all of your strap bombers and hit that commander. <laughs> I'm working on it. And then, after you place your move order away with your ACU, grab all of your T1 engineers and start building T1 building point a, defense. Building a shield generator right... Yeah. That's the one good thing about the slow sim speed, is that you have yeah. tons of time to react to everything. So yeah, get all those strat bombers online and firing at that ACU, and then building T1 point defense with all of your engineers. Just like grab clumps of them and start building in different his, places. Actually. I'm gonna capture Oh, his beautiful! <laughs> Even better! <laughs> oh man, sucks to be you, buddy. Nice. Very Not nice. Today. There goes his shield. <laughs> and... Oh, that's hilarious. That's yes, absolutely hilarious. you are going to demolish him. No contest. <laughs> wow, that was a brutal overcharge. He killed like oh, eight of your engineers or ten. I'm not really that bothered to be honest. Like, his commander is gonna go down. It's gonna go down fairly soon, actually. How's my donut doing? It's doing not badly, actually. And my economy is like ridiculous anyway, so I'm not too worried. Just need that power. Boom, boom, boom. You're going to kill your own air factory, but that's... Uh, it's not the HQ, so... Unfortunately, well. collateral damage, yeah. Hopefully well, you don't kill your own HQ. 
I won't. I, I think I won't. I think I'll be fine. I okay. should probably move my engineers out of there just to be on the safe side of things. Okay. He is going to try and get another power generator up. I don't think he's going to manage, I'll be honest. I don't think he's going to manage. My shield generator? Is, yeah, yeah, he's going for shield generator, but it's... it's oh... One more, one more, one more. Oh, Shields up. Damn it. It needs damn two it. more strap bombs on the ACU for a kill. <clears throat> He's going to do a bit more damage. Nothing lethal, I don't think, but a fair bit of damage. He's just getting all those T1 point fest down. Probably going to kill your HQ. Um, I would get somewhere out here, like these engineers, build a T1 air factory, and then step it through the upgrades very quickly to get another HQ online just in case it kills yours. Okay, that's fine. You know, he doesn't seem to be targeting it. I'm actually not that worried. I mean, he's going to be going down. Very, he's going, he's going. He's and down. there he goes. Easy. Kaboom. Easy. You come at me, bro. You come at <clears> me, <throat> I destroy you. That's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. I don't, he didn't even defeat the, uh, the HQ. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, but his point defense will continue to annoy me. That's a little bit annoying. Oh, okay. the sim speed is so slow. You know what? <clears throat> Honestly, I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. I've, uh, I'm, st I'm still getting a donut, which is nice. Donuts are always tasty. Oh man, that's annoying. All right, the Soul Ripper is out and about. I'm going okay. to get my aircraft carriers and all of my cruisers over to that side of the map. So hopefully we can engage air in a safe position. Um, you know what? I've got, I've, got, I've got a factory that can literally produce shield disruptors in milliseconds. So why don't I take that opportunity? Okay. Build shield disruptors. Manually target that on there. Then that on there. There we go. Work it down. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is literally ridiculous. Are you reading the chat in the game? <laughs> I, I'm really not. Do you see what I have in the water? There wasn't much else to do. Bronx got five nuke subs by now anyway. Who, me? Five nuke subs? Why on earth would I do that? <laughs> uh, you're cruel, but it's delicious. It's so, so good. Oh my goodness. I don't know why he decided to teleport into my base. Like, to me, that doesn't make sense. Like, was that a wise move? Uh, he was trying to kill you. I think if... You don't say. Well, okay, here's the reasoning. You were, your ACU was in the middle of, like, 85% of your build power. So if your ACU had nuked, it would have crippled air production. And we'd be one player short, and your ARAS would be gone, so we'd be low on power as well. Yeah. And he's already in a position where he couldn't really do anything. Uh -huh. So it made sense, even if he was probably on a one-way trip, to try to kill you. Uh-huh. But he obviously forgot that I was great at the game. He I'm probably bad. would have come closer to succeeding had it not been for the slow sim speed. Well, it, yeah, I wouldn't have noticed for like 10 minutes until like he'd actually destroyed me. Yeah, it, it makes so much difference. You should never try a teleport snipe when the game is running this slow because it gives everyone five times as much reaction time. Yeah, so. <laughs> that was crazy. It was really crazy. I've still got like four strap bombers left. All right, we need to take out, we need to take out somebody. Who are we going to take out? What is that? Uh, is probably somebody? need to take out that soul ripper over there before it destroys his navy. Can I take it out with all of my yep. aircraft? Is that Just easy enough to do? Bum rush it. Yeah, all right. I'm going it has it. basically no anti-air. And then if he tries to send his ASF over there, there's a bunch of cruisers, so. Yeah, they're just going to get shredded either way. Oh, it's going to go down and it's not going to get anywhere. That's a real shame. That's yep. A real shame. It did a pretty good job defending the front, but. He's asking any air support while the ASF are already attacking it. <laughs> Bit Excellent observational skills, Watson. Bit late now. Unfortunately for him. Why are his engineers on my side of the map? 
I don't understand. How can I tell how many aircraft are in my uh, big donut? Um, if you mouse over it and then, oh, good lord. Well, I need more power. Um, if you mouse over it, or click on it, rather, select it, and then hit the, um, it's the equivalent of the unit count bar. It's underneath the build menu. Um, uh -huh. There is a selection and storage thing. Oh, yeah, okay. And you can see in there. Oh, sweet, okay. All right, so I'm just going to deal with the power stall, actually. Holy cow, he literally managed to take out all of my fighters. <laughs> I am stalling by 14,000 power. Every single one. Every single one. Um, that, that sucks to be you. That's really kind of bad. I'm not even going to ask for power because it would anything that anyone would give me would be an insignificant drop in the bucket next to my needs. <laughs> yeah, I can appreciate that. Only got two strategic bombers. All right, guys, go in there. Strategic bombers, enter into the disc. Please enter into the disc. <clears throat> okay, and then you guys, I want you to build. Let's build a galactic. Let's build a colossus. Why the czar actually acts as a staging. Um, well, yeah. Well, what I'm what I'm planning to do is I'm going to fly fly it in there, full with full of strategic bombers, pop the strategic bombers out, and just mess up anything that's around. That's my plan. <laughs> It's it's devious. I know. Good luck with I'm, that. I'm proud. I'm actually proud of it. Uh, if you have aircraft that are running low on fuel, if you um, board them on the Czar, it actually refuels and repairs aircraft. Uh -huh. It's like an air staging facility. We got tech one attack bombers. Wait, why am I building like a whole bunch of tech one attack bombers? That makes no sense to me. I literally could not care less for Tech 1 attack bombers. Let's Should I build a nuke this. defense on the island? I think that's... If you've got extra mass, you might as well. Okay, let's just uh, send you guys up there. Okay, yep. Yeah. Send you guys up there to do some stupid damage or whatever. Alright, my Galactic Colossus is coming along just nicely, thanks for asking. It's, uh, it's doing great. It's doing great. Okay. Uh, you're still pumping out. That looks what we like to see. Oh, I've probably got a billion shield disruptors now. Oh, great. I probably do. Yeah, I've got some shield disruptors. Let's, let's move them up. It's going to take them four and a half minutes to get from the bottom of the map to the top of the map. But <laughs> transports. You know that is what oh. transports are for. You know what? I get it. They are. You know what? Here, I've got some. I will give them to you. I I don't need them. It's all in all honesty, it's fine. There you go. I'm not, I'm not really that bothered. Have you figured out how to use the fairy command yet? Somebody told me, and then I immediately forgot because it was way too complicated for my tiny little pea brain to to grasp. Oh, okay. We can leave it yeah. for another day then. Yeah, it's it's something to do with like an area of somewhere. It effects and it picks up and something 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 yeah I, i'm not gonna lie i uh, i'm I almost balanced on power uh, question can i get engineers to assist <clears throat> uh, my czar in construction of units uh no they can't oh. assist something up in the air damn it and the czar stops manufacturing units as soon as i move is that correct yes is it worth me producing units on board or just flying it into the enemy is that, um, is that he still has more ASF than you do, so if you fly that czar anywhere near the other side of the map, it's just going to die. Yeah. So I would probably say keep it, maybe move it up forward a little bit towards that navy. Uh -huh. um, or actually my navy, because I have so many cruisers on that side of the map, he couldn't possibly touch it. Okay. Well, he could kill it, but he'd lose all his ASF, so he probably doesn't want to. All right, well, I've got a Galactic Colossus, which is literally going to take five minutes to walk into the enemy base, but you know what? <clears throat> I shall do it. In fact, you know, I can do like a... It can go underwater, can't it? It can. And this is where, too, if you stage your building further forward, mm -hmm. you can get uh, units on the front line quicker. So, like, actually drop a dozen T3 engineers at the front 
and then yeah. just spam up Galactic Colossus is, is, is there. <laughs> Galactic Colossus is, is, is. I like that, it. That's like the Colossus. plural of GCs. You didn't know that? I, I, I Surprisingly, no. Actually, I did not. Wow. So that is, that is the official it. plural. That, the official plural. <laughs> the <Wow>. official plural. <laughs> the official plural. I did not know that. That is top notch. All right. Uh, stop construction of that. Let's get some strategic bombers on. I, I literally just want to go for a strategic bomber spam. Okay. Let's, uh... No, no. Don't cancel that. I want to control K that bomber. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's going to be Megalith versus Fatboy. And the Megalith is going to win a million times over. Easy. Do you want some mass? I'll give you some math, man. Uh, I'm actually just about perfectly balanced at the moment. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Happy birthday. And Merry Christmas and everything all coming at once. I'm going to go and build an experimental battleship as well because I've literally got so much mass. And I, I just, I, seemingly I'm incompetent of, um, of just building, you know, air factories. That's just not something that I'm willing to do anymore for some reason. I, I have no idea why. It's just a, just a no-no, really. Is there any way we can get another epic scout? Another epic scout? Ooh. If you ask nicely. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? I will endeavor to do it. Uh, build one engineer. Build... I have one cybern engineer, so if I can get some cyber... Oh, I can get some cybern experimentals. Oh, very nice. Alright, I've got some shield disruptors. Uh, you get on there. You get on there. Okay, great. Um, do you want some shield disruptors? Would they help you in your plight against the enemy? Um, not on my side, because I'm not really engaging with that kind of weaponry, but I'm sure they can help someone somewhere. Alright, I'll just gift them to red. Units, gift selected units. There you go. There you go. Any of you care if I leave? I can stay. I've just done terrible and I've got bored. <laughs> well, we'll bump up one sim speed anyway. That's that's a good point. That is a really good point. We need to finish this. We actually need to, you know, fight for victory. All right, so where's my czar going? Can I push my czar up and... Where is the enemy? I'm going to go for blue. Screw it. Well, that's why we need the other epic scout, because if we can do that... Oh, goodness gracious, alive, he has, like, four nuke subs. We need to get some tort bombers on those ASAP. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I will build tort bombers. That's not a problem. Well, I can't there... build them as quickly as you can. Can I build a scathis? Would that be acceptable? Or does it not um, fire far enough? It does not fire far enough. You could build a T3 artillery, though. <clears throat> you know what, I think I just might do that. Uh, which is the best tier 3 artillery, out of Cybran or Aeon? Um, Aeon, for sure. Aeon? Longer reach, yeah, longer reach, higher damage. Sweet. Right, Let's see. What kind of UEF mischief would I prefer to pull? You, you and mischief? That's not two words that I commonly associate in the slightest. Goodness me. No, no, no. Heavy artillery installation. Will it fire far enough? Not really. I'm gonna have to build it. You don't need fairly. to hit the air player's base. Well. The air player will be gone in just a minute. Okay, I love. Wow. Your uh your connection seems a little more sketchy than usual tonight. I cannot control my connection, unfortunately. Alright, let's um I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna go over purple's base. I'm gonna do immense amounts of damage. It's gonna be epic. Fantastic. Uh my let's Galactic see. Colossus is still en route. Oh okay, goodness. What's, what's Captain this? Colonel Ruffs is building a Mabor. That's good. That's As great. Guile would phrase it, the UEF penis of doom. <laughs> Sounds probably about right. 
That's the single most powerful artillery in this game. It has effectively infinite range. And it does colossal amounts of damage. Where's my... Where's my tier 3 engineer that was supposed to be building this, uh... This thingy. Where the hell is he gone? Are you ready for some fireworks? Me? I was actually born ready. I don't know if you actually knew that, but uh, watch out. There's a soul ripper coming towards us, and I've got nothing. <laughs> got well, nothing crud. That's not any good. No, you're right. It is not. It is not. It really is not. But I've got a lot of strategic bombers, so that must count for something. Am I right? Technically, if you ground fire the strategic bombers behind the soul ripper, you can actually take out a soul ripper with strap bombs. Uh, okay, I'm gonna gift this dude like all of my mass. There you go. This is not day. that good though, because what is going on? He needs to surface his Atlantis to get the AA rolling, but he's leaving it underwater. Need to send your ASF in. Okay, well. Oh, there's a megalith on the front as well. Crud. Goodness gracious me. Well, this could be a, a little bit of a base trading scenario if we can manage to push up. A base team. trade? On sentence? <laughs> yeah, looks like looks like he's easily gonna manage to push back the Soul Ripper himself. Yeah. A sentence base trade? Maybe. Crazier things have happened, I've heard. And theoretically, it could happen if both of the air players dropped each other. That would actually be kind of hilarious. Oh, good. I'm on, I'm on route to do that. Captain Colonel has more than enough Sams to deny that thing. Look at the, uh, look at the mass fabricator fields that he has. Like, his mass income must be over wow. 9,000. Over 9,000! Yeah, totally. Um, also, I literally can't do anything about it. I, I can't do anything. I don't have anything. Strategic launch like, detected. There's the fireworks. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> All right, I successfully denied the Soul Ripper with flak. When, when you said fireworks, I didn't think you really meant fireworks like that. Also, a Galactic Colossus versus Megalith, who's going to win? Uh, the Megalith, Probably. because there's two of them. You know what? Uh, does Megalith have anti-air? Okay, we really need something to deal with that Megalith, otherwise we're no, all no, going to no. die. Look, I've, I've got a, a flipping aircraft carrier oh! battle cruiser. He has so much anti-nuke in the back. Holy cow. Only two That's... of those connected. Uh, you could try to bring the Czar over it. Deploy your strat bombers and use them on the Megalith. You sure? I want to I wanna go for the commander. That's what I'm aiming for, though. You're not going to make it. You know what? You need some positivity in your life. I've got... You're, you're, you're not going to make it. I'm telling you. That Czar is going to die with all the strat bombers inside. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I think you need, unless, to, you need to be hopeful. Unless he has a colossal spat of stupidity, which, I mean, is a, is a possibility. Oh, good. He put the Megalith in the water. Good, 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 Okay, good. now, if I can just do some damage. Do we know where his commander is? Do we have any idea? Do we have any I idea? I do not. I do not. Should probably something that be something that we should scout. He's got like no no defense up here. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Deploy, deploy, and then move the czar. Sure. Yep. All right. There's the there's, there's the commander. commander. Get the czar over him. Maybe the crash I'm, will kill I'm him. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm. Get doing in it, there. Get in there. He's standing next to a P Gen. Is it oh, gonna be on. enough? Come on. Oh no! Forty-five hundred health left. Hey, hey, the strap hey, hey, bombers got, are coming in, though. Still got, like, did it take the shields stuff. down? Yeah. It if you get this, if I oh get this, my man. word! Really? 
No way! <laughs> really? Oh, 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 oh up, up here as well. Look, up here. Right up there. Right up there. He's The, the commander's up there. Right up in the Good corner. Good lord. I cannot <laughs> believe that actually happened. Do you remember that bout of colossal <laughs> stupidity I was talking about? <laughs> they, no, he, he let me just get all up in his base. That was amazing. You literally flew past, like, <laughs> 200 ASF. How? The enemy commander is like right up in the corner here, right? Like I can't right even. <laughs> you know what? I I think that 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 this is a cause for celebration right now. This is a cause for celebration. Um, I don't even know why I'm still building that. Just, yeah, I just don't know. Just build um, just build some more strat bombers. I feel strat bombers are the way forward right now. Oh man, I. I do you feel proud that you've taught your your apprentice well? I am so incredibly happy that you actually killed him with that. <laughs> I, there is equal parts can't believe it and happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, man. That was a good kill. That was a really good kill. I think that... If there, he if there was, was like actually a... building a salvation in the back. <laughs> it's a good thing that you killed him. Oh, well. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, uh, wow. What a high. What a high. Do we do we need another one of those? I feel we need another one of those, actually. Another czar? Another donut another, full of strats? Another czar. Another czar. That's right. You heard me. Another freaking czar. I've heard of jelly-filled of uh, jelly -filled donuts, but never um, strategic bomber-filled donuts. You know what? Me neither. But if we can, if we can somehow manage to suss out what he's doing, if I can perhaps land a couple of strategic bomber shots, then that would be very, very nice indeed. Right, where is his? Where is his a commander? His commander was up here. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is anymore. Can we just get some nukes in here? Is that a possibility? It was right up there. Um, I would put your ACU in water if it's not already because he could very well be going for um, teleportation. For teleport with the laser upgrade on his commander, which would be basically instant KO. Yeah. It's not what I really want, is it? No, not at all. Actually. No, no, it's not. Well, the Megaliths are making an appearance again. Megaliths actually have brutal torpedo damage. <clears throat> brutal torpedo damage. I feel that you're yep. sort of like, you're locked out of this battle because you, you've already dominated like your entire side. I'm helping. Is, oh, I, I, <laughs> shit against giant spider. Oh, I forgot that I was building this actually. I I don't care. I'm just still going to build it. I'm oh not man. Stop me. I, I've... I've got the, the mass to pay the bills, quite literally. I had two Percivals over here that I totally forgot existed. Oh, wow. What a valid contribution to the battle you are, Mr. Brink. I know, right? Okay, well, that's where my mass has been going, but hey-ho. I hope you have a lot of anti-nuke, because he also has multiple strategic subs. I, I have... Just saying. I have three anti-nukes, all in one silo. Is that acceptable? That is one too few because he has four subs. So I would be yeah. building another anti-nuke if I were you. I'm scrambling the anti-nuke. There's one tier three that's been dedicated to doing like the entire game. Awesome. Not, not like that mean much at all, but yeah. hey ho. Alright, I've built myself I've built myself a ridiculously large battleship for almost no good reason at all. Can I actually do anything? I don't even know if I can. Uh, just get it within torpedo range of the megaliths. Is this that will be helpful. Yeah. What's the size of the torpedo range? Uh, the green circle around it. The green circle, okay. That's the fine. The green circle. The green circle. I can just about do that. I wonder how many torpedo bombers I actually have here. A lot, Good as question. it turns out. They just keep coming. Just keep coming. Oh, watch out! Something he's do he's moving he's moving um, those units for some reason. I don't know really know what he's doing. Good lord! I had eighty six of them. Eighty six. Yup. That's a shame. 
For some reason, he's not engaging with ASF. A couple of lazy restorers passing in that general direction. Oh, right. look! Fireworks time again! <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. If that ACU doesn't die, I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. That's, That's a sight for sore eyes. Hey, you oh, know what? Man. It, you know what? My my battleship may be kind of bad against those uh, those megaliths, but it's certainly doing the business on the other stuff, isn't it? Yeah, twelve thousand damage per hit on that main cannon. That's not bad, is it? Unfortunately, kind of inaccurate, but it is you know what, what it is. No point in being negative about it. I mean, uh, you just gotta just gotta be positive, man. Oh, dude, positive. he's got his maver up. Oh crap. Oh, wow, that's... Oh, our maver. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. It's yeah. so bright! Wait, I'm blind! Did it! I'm blind! <laughs> what a victory. What a victory. What a victory. Hey, I, oh, I don't wanna, man. I don't want to steal the glory or anything, but I still think that uh, that, that kill, that kill with the Tsar, absolute that, highlight. Yep. Yep. I cannot believe... That that donut made it all the way back there. That is just... <laughs> if I was him, I would be repeatedly connecting my desk with my face. <laughs> just, ah, uh, ah, uh, no! no but the crazy thing is, right, all of these air superiority fighters belong to the air player. He had thousands of them, and he just didn't even bother to engage. Yep, exactly. It was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, I am sorry I ever doubted you on getting that donut That's back right. there. <laughs> That's right. Never doubt me again. <laughs> Never doubt the salty potato. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was such a good game. That was a really, really good game. Fantastic game. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed that as much as we did. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to see another game, head over to Orbital Potatoes channel. It is going to be in the description. There's a link down there if you want to hit it up. We're going to go play another game and post that one over there. So join us over there, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.